Real Deal. Real fishing information from real fishing experts. Presented by Amsoil. One of the cool aspects of my job as a professional fisherman is a lot of times I get to work on products even before the public sees them, kind of prototyping them and testing them. And one of the products I'm working on with Berkeley right now is something called a ringworm. Now ringworms are not new in themselves. Uh, I can remember back in the mid to early 90s fishing on the Mississippi River and having guys do well on ringworms. And in fact the Mississippi River is where the ringworm worm phenomena has kind of grown and developed itself. But it has now spread across the country and a lot of people are catching walleyes with ringworms. The key is that it's a power bait ringworm. It's got that scent that helps the fish not only find it, but help grab on and hold on longer, giving you a chance to set the hook. So what, what you want to look for in any ringworm that you buy though, is first of all, it's a fairly long bait. It's a four inch long bait. It's very limber though. And that limberness is, I think, what was one of the main things that attracts a fish to bite it. When you're jigging this through the water, that undulation and movement of that tail is what can really trigger bites. And then the second thing is, is this real light twister tail. And you don't want a real stiff one back there, because what you want to happen is if this thing is sitting still in the water or just barely gliding through the water, you want that twister tail just kind of moving back there and undulating. As far as colors when you're looking at ringworms, it's very common to, to go with the rule of thumb of in, in darker or dingier waters, go with the bright colors, you know, chartreuses and oranges, uh, chartreuse tails, purples, those kind of things are going to be really, really good in that where visibility is difficult for the walleyes. In clear water, you go with a little bit natural looking baits, uh, some of the blues and grays, some of the golds, not quite as bright and as gaudy. So with the power bait now added as the additional scent attraction, I think that you're going to find that more and more people are using ringworms, and I think more and more you're going to catch a lot of walleyes with these long slinky baits.